right, so the material has set up, and while it was setting up, I went ahead and just removed some of the excess on the, the buckle flange. So now we're ready to remove this, and then we're going to utilize the separable fastener that's still stuck in the multi-unit abutment. We're going to use that as kind of like a healing abutment, so we're going to reassemble a new head to that screw, which we call a press-on cap. To remove the denture, we can either use a periosteal elevator or the back edge of a cotton forceps. I'm going to go ahead and just use this periosteal elevator. What you do is you come underneath the flange, and then you can be right up against the bone if you're doing open flap, and you just give it a little twist, and the denture just pops right off. And then you see here that we've captured all of those tie bases, including the silicone O-rings, and that's actually a good thing. Now we've got the, the separable fasteners still stuck in those multi-unit abutments, so we're going to go ahead and just remove the rest of this silicone dam, set it to the side, that's trash now. And now I'm going to put this press-on cap and just push it onto the fragment that stayed behind in the multi-unit abutment. So if you look at this press-on cap, this is the seating surface of the multi-unit abutment, and then this is the top of the press-on cap. There's a drive feature in the center, and then there are two offset holes to that press-on cap, and the, the drive feature obviously allows you to use a torque driver to unscrew it. The two offset circles allow you to just use like an explorer tip to, um, to unscrew it. And then obviously you cannot press the press-on cap upside down. It won't work. It has to be the mating surface of the press-on cap to the multi-unit abutment and just press it down. You do not try to screw it down because that will grab onto this threaded post that's in the multi-unit abutment and drive it further down into the multi-unit abutment. So if you try to just screw it down there, whoops, if you, if you try to see it, or sorry, if you try to just screw it on, then eventually you won't be able to grab onto that with, this, with the press-on cap. So again, the retrieval tool allows you to just get in there, back that up a couple turns, and now just press the press-on cap down and then turn it a little bit until you feel some friction. And now you've got your press-on caps in place, ready to go and you can suture up. Meanwhile, the denture can head on into the laboratory and either you or your assistant or your technician or if you are the technician or if you are the assistant, the assistant somebody can start working on contouring this denture and getting it prepared to go back into the patient's mouth.